Hello. Welcome to Defense Planning once again. I'm Veronica. And I'm Jen. Let's talk about our platforms. We're making it available for people. <laughs> I don't know what that was. To share share our gloriness with everyone. Yeah. You want to listen to us. So go find us on every listening platform. Obviously, we're already in your ears, but we're yes. everywhere. We're everywhere. We're out there. We get around. But we need your help to share so we can get out there even more. Yes. You can um, please rate us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever, like Jen said, wherever you choose to listen to us. Yes. Give us a five-star review. Please. Subscribe. Send please, us please, good please. vibes. It really does help us. It helps a lot. You have no idea. Uh, unless you're in the podcast you miss us, then you know. It's just, it'll shoot you up the list. We just want everyone to be able to discover us. That's what we want. Yes, and also send us your emails, comments, questions, concerns, whatever you guys want at defenseblink.gmail.com or reach us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, snail mail. Mm-hmm. Oh, we don't have anywhere you send snail mail yet, sorry. I suggest that you write a note on an old piece of paper. To your congressman. Yes, that's, too, too <laughs> <laughs> that's a stained paper. Put it in a scroll. Two little sticks, just roll it in there. Attach it to a pigeon and send that fucker off. Oh, yeah, pigeon mail. How about a raven? They use these ravens, so find a raven. Or an owl. Oh, owls are good, too. Hello, Harry Potter. Or a large butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> they might not make it, but hopefully... They're not doing their job. It's the circle of life. It might get eaten by the bird. By the bigger bird. The bird will... There we go. It gets eaten by the, it gets eaten by the bigger bird, the raven. The raven comes and it poops out the letter to us. <gasps> See? It plants the seed of the letter. Which the, creates the tree that grew from the bush. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened there? Circle of life. <laughs> I don't know. And we're a little loopy, I think. Mm -hmm. It's been the longest week of my life. It feels like it. I called it Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. It's Tuesday. Well, by the time you hear this, it's Thursday. Yeah. But today, as we record, it is Tuesday. And we're doing this uh, recording not previously scheduled. So Lindsay can't join us today because we uh, had to do this last second. Yeah. Uh, We're pulling out of my audio quality in the last one. Yeah, so, um, so unfortunately, we recorded one ready to go for this week with Lindsay. It was great. It was beautiful. We had such a good dynamic. Yes. But the audio is horrible, and no. we don't want you guys to suffer. We don't want to make your ears bleed. Yeah. Them. We don't want you to suffer, and I was suffering just getting through four minutes, and I was um, just upset. Oh, no. So we're just going to uh, re-record something for you guys to listen to this Thursday morning, evening, afternoon, middle of the night, whatever time Whatever is. works for you. Yes. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And what are going to be talking about today? But I'm having really? a really hard time with words. It's okay. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Um, so we have a really uh, fun and interesting topic mm-hmm. about infidelity in the military. military. Because, you know, once you're in the military, it's like you're military active duty member is always going to cheat on you. It's the biggest stigma. So before I even met Dave, I thought the same exact thing. I never wanted to be with a military man Mm -hmm. because all I knew them to be were terrible people and not faithful. Yeah. So it's not true. It is not true. We really are not more prone to like a higher risk of cheating. Yeah. It says this is the same as anybody else. Anybody in the civilian world. It's the same. I just think that we're such a concentrated bunch that you hear about it more and there's more repercussion. But who has a higher probability of an affair? The member or the spouse? Who do you think? I, so researching, I kind of came up with that I had the active duty spouse Mm -hmm. as the one who was straight. Yeah, the one who straights more than just the spouse. I mean, I have heard of some spouses, mm-hmm. and they're straight, dirty people. Yeah. But I, th- when I was researching all this stuff, it was coming up more of that. The, the number was, mm-hmm. I wonder if it's more because they get reported. That might be it. They get reported, and maybe the 
not the spouse, the civilian spouse. The dependa. The dependa. Hey. <laughs> doesn't get caught. Either doesn't get caught or, I mean, it wouldn't be, I feel like it wouldn't probably be quite as known. Because women are smarter. Well, and yeah. let's face it, there's a, there's more, there's more men. That, that is true. I did come across a couple <laughs> stories where it was the the act of duty was this was the woman mm-hmm. and she was cheating on her dependent mm-hmm. husband and stuff too. Yeah. Only only a couple though. But what counts as an infidelity is like emotional, physical, because like you know, like you can have an emotional connection to somebody else. Is that considered cheating? I don't know. To me, it's it's like it's taken to a certain point i think if there's a line there has to be some sort of line and if you even emotionally if you cross it i don't know it's that the emotionally one is kind of hard fine line yeah um, yeah but, and i mean obviously you can't help your feelings if you like have a special bond with you know another person that is not your spouse and then there's there's boundaries on like you said like you yeah can, how do you do you cross them, cross them just physically or just um, emotionally? Like, yes. That's crazy. That's, yeah. If you cross boundaries emotionally to you, then that's where you need to start stepping in and being like, you need to talk about this. Mm-hmm. Either, I mean, with both people. Yeah. Probably separately. Cause yeah. Why would you be crazy? Okay. Yeah. And I feel <laughs> like that, that's actually a really good point. If you, you approach it um, and address it right away, yeah, a if, communication. Communication, definitely. If you have, if your spouse comes up to you and like, listen, I'm having these doubts about our marriage, and I feel that we can either like address it or just end the marriage. Like, there's there's a way. Like, approach it as a as a as an adult. Yeah. So that talk about it. I feel like that is like the number one problem why people are cheating and getting divorced in the military. Is that's what I kept coming across was this <laughs> children screaming. <laughs> I kept coming across that all day today, too. (laughs) (laughs) The reoccurring theme of not communicating your unhappiness. That was, like, my biggest thing. That's what I wrote down was, like, the biggest thing. I kept seeing that all these, at least most of these stories and people talking about infidelity had in common where that they were unhappy at home and they didn't communicate. And then I'm deployed for 6 to 12 months and all we do is fight and argue over the phone and my wife is not a... Oh, there was one I was pissed. He says his wife was not, um, he was not attracted to his wife anymore because she gained, uh, she was 200 pounds and she was 150 when they met or something. And I was like, you're an asshole. Yeah. Women gain, women gain weight differently than men do. Yeah. And we gain it faster and we lose it slower. Really slow. Very slowly. Yes. And, she might have had children. I don't know if it said that, but I don't know, yeah. children change your body. Oh, completely. I feel like they make your they make you lose weight even slower. They change your body. They change your emotions. Yeah, everything. Everything changes. <laughs> they were arguing. He was deployed. They're arguing over money all the time. He said anytime they talked, it was just to argue about things. And it was she, she had just had a they had a baby like a few weeks before he left. And so, so it's like, I don't know. It just, our poor bodies as females are just, no, oh, it's yeah. so hard. We just are, we're, we're hard on ourselves. That's the problem. Yeah, we, I, yes, we are. I see everyone else in a different way than I see myself. Mm-hmm. Everyone else, like I think I'm like, God, you guys look so good all the time. Like you're, whatever you're doing, is it working for you? It's doing, you guys look awesome. And then I see myself and I'm like, why isn't anything working for me? <laughs> <laughs> I like think back and. Oh my gosh, remember when I used to think I was fat? Yeah. <laughs> I was I mean, I've never been a small person and I my build is not to be thin, like I'm meant to be curvy, I think. But I was like when we got married I think I was like hundred and fifty five pounds or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I got really heavy right before I had the kids. Like I yeah. got like up to two hundred pounds. And that's why I try to tell like the class when I see someone that just doesn't look my way, I'm like, I used to be heavy where I couldn't even bend over to tell my shoes, like, so uncomfortable. And it's like, now I'm bending over where I can put my elbows on the ground. And I'm teaching a fitness class. You teach a fitness class, and you're killing us with your ab and leg routines that yeah. you finish, and I am dying. And I'm nowhere near where I wish I was because I have tummy pudge, and I'm just going to have to live with it. 
I'm just gonna have to live with it. No, I don't like fans are made in the kitchen. Yeah. But so is happiness. So is happiness is at the bottom of that pint of ice cream, yeah. that Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I wanna be happy. They have thin <laughs> dark chocolate Reese's cups at the BX right now and it's just uh, I want the big ones. I don't want the fucking thin Reese's cups. I want the big old fat ones. Give me the whole pack. You feel more guilty and I'd rather eat like three of the double packs. <laughs> I just want to eat. Anyway. I just want to eat fun foods. Don't shame us about our body. We wouldn't be no. talking. We wouldn't be crying <laughs> over food right now. Luckily, our husbands love us just the way they are. They do and they're the so are, yeah. sweet they about it too. Sweet. And that's that is the key. So, ladies, if yeah. you're having a problem and your husband is not the nicest uh, and not encouraging you. Chicken with fucking balls. Yeah, that's not okay. <laughs> and you need to, the thing is, is you need to talk. Like, we'll come you back to it. Talk. You yeah. need to be, you need to communicate that. You have to talk. That is, like, one of the biggest things that seems to be the problem is they're not actually talking. Like you said, he's... He was arguing with his wife every day while he was employed and stuff. So it's like, that's not helping. You guys actually need to talk about your problems. You can't just get mad, you know? Yeah. I understand. I get mad at my husband sometimes. I just get frustrated and angry and I want to yell at him. And he forces me to talk to him Mm -hmm. like a normal person. (laughs) And I don't want to, but I do. And and listen, too. Obviously, the the other person is saying something because of concern about a certain issue. And they're trying to make you understand what they're going through or what's happening at the moment. And the other person really needs to be open-minded and listen to yes. reason and really try, really try to reason with what's happening, you know, and not just be like, "No, you're wrong. I'm right." On yeah. both parties, both parties be like, you know, they need to be open to change, to and change, and just talking. And- yeah, because it's the. It- like, they, they say all the time, like, you can't change somebody and everything, but I don't believe that. I have changed a lot. Since, oh, definitely. Like, the first time, like, since the beginning of our marriage until, like, now. Like, I have changed as a person so much. Like, okay. he he's so motivating. No, I hate In it. the wrong way sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to punch him in the face. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. He's so funny. Like he does, and he does it. He does it to make me a better person, and that's the thing. It's like you want somebody that's going to make you better, not just like be there and yeah. be married for the extra income on, <laughs> on your BAH. Yeah, you get more money for that, and you, they don't get to live in the dorms. Really, you don't get much because I have nothing no. to be. Yeah, don't be stupid. Okay. Don't get married for just that. that was another that was another thing was that I found was the um extra benefits. There was one that I read about people were getting married for the wrong reasons. Yeah. In the military, either like really super young and um just not emotionally or just mature levels not yeah. there yet. Or the fact that, hey, I'm a new you know, whatever, a new soldier here and I don't want to live in the dorms anymore, so sure, yeah. let's just let's get married so then we can live off base and get a little bit more money. But, yeah, and you can have benefits. No. Here's Tricare. Yes, tri-care. here's your Tricare. <laughs> Pay for Tricare. <laughs> oh, it's like yeah. Come on now. I wish there was a law that wouldn't allow you to get married until you were 25 until your brain is fully developed at 25. Yeah. Well, because, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got it's, married. I think I was young. I was 23. I was 21. Yeah. I, I was young. You were so young. I was a baby. Yeah. I really was. I mean, I, it's like at that time, you don't think you are. And I... And, and I you feel I mature. Get it. I get it. Because yeah. you're out of high school and you're not in the teens anymore. And you're in your 20s. But you still don't know shit. No. It's... You don't know jack shit. I'm 30 and now I'm still just learning. I know. I still don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> and I'm 36. I don't know anything. I don't know. <laughs> I know more, but I don't know. I think about the shit I did when I was in my late teens, and I was like, why? Oh boy. Why are you so dumb? Yeah. Why were you so stupid? What were you doing? Like, you thought you were smart, but you really mm-hmm. weren't. The decisions you made back then? Oh, God. Yeah. Like the clothes you wore. Oh, <laughs> 
The eyebrows that I plucked. Oh my god. <laughs> the overplucked. Yes. Non existing eyebrows. Yes. So just think about it when I know like when you are with this amazing person, you're just like crazy in love and it just feels so good. Just hold tight. You don't have to rush into marriage. You no. don't have to get married right away when he gets, you know, in and through basic and through his first duty station. I know it sucks to be separated, um, but that's what you're going to be dealing with after you get married and he yeah. goes on deployment. So, rush. I feel like they're always in a relationship. There should be like a big issue and see how you come out on the other side. Yeah. See how you're getting through and then see how you come out on the other side. And if yeah. it's like pretty easy, like you come out on the other side unscathed, like go for it. Yeah. <laughs> that's my opinion. Kyle and I dated nine months, uh, long distance. Nice. And we were happy. Yeah. I mean, I missed him a lot. And oh, of course. Me. Of course. We had a lot of phone sex. Oh, <laughs> that helps a lot. Too. Yes, <laughs> it does. And it was great. We had a really, I mean, we had a good relationship. And then we got married after he had joined. So he was, he had just finished basic training, was in tech school. And we got married and it was been 13 years. And yeah, we haven't had any like major arguments other than yes. like, I'm talking to you and you're not paying attention or why the fuck do you keep living pants in your goddamn uniform? <laughs> I'm sick of it. <laughs> Which I went to wash his uniform the other day and I hadn't done that in months. Months, months, months I had been. And I was like yelling from the line room, there better not be any pants in here. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, I found one and I was like, oh, I almost ruined all our laundry. Wait up, Kyle. I have to check every single pocket because there's pockets within pockets. I hate these pockets. On top of pockets. No. Inside of pockets. Around pockets. Got to the pockets. Hiding pockets. Velcro pockets. Yeah. Camouflage pockets. You can find me. Why do you need so many pockets in your uniform? Like, what what, what do they put in there is what I want to know. What do you have in there? Pens. I've never seen anything be put into these pockets. Candy wrappers and pens is what I found in Kyle. So, anyway. <laughs> with infidelity, there's bad blood in your marriage that could cause it could be a national security issue you know yeah because you have it causes marital discord when it impacts like the family dynamics and which can compromise the member's mission it's just your best i just rewarded it I know, I love it. No, it's so true. I mean, yeah. I mean, you think about it because, I mean, as a spouse, you know, you know a lot of stuff. and uh, Yeah, you know a lot of stuff. And yeah. then, can you imagine an angry spouse Yeah, going off and being, like, and saying stuff? Yeah, you just get, like, I mean, I. it's no excuse, and they shouldn't do it anyways. But, I mean, they are so angry and hurt by what has happened of, you know, mm -hmm. shit just comes flying at your mouth. And you just don't know yeah. how to stop. Exactly. That and the stress that it creates in the home and that yeah. the service member is probably not able to give you know, his job 100%. Mm -hmm. Which, let's face it, they're at work way too much as it is. Yeah. Doing, and they're stressed. It's a high-stress job, you know, yep. being in the military. And then on top of that, having to worry about what's going on at home mm -hmm. or just the extra marital, marital affair that they might be having. Mm -hmm. And the issues that that's causing. Hiding it and that's what causing. Yeah. So some people have a problem with that too. They, you know, they obviously, they have some guilt for it because they know what they did is wrong and they shouldn't have. And then there's those other people who are thrill seekers mm -hmm. and, and actually enjoy like doing these, uh, having affairs and then don't be hoping married. to get caught, but not because of the excitement behind it. Go yeah. jump off a bridge. Right. Find some of your adrenaline in a yeah. better, uh, more... Go rollerblading. Right. <laughs> Something that's going to get your, get, you know, whatever, get yourself going. Here's the thing. Get yourself some rollerblades. Yeah. Climb a really high hill and just throw yourself down that hill mm -hmm. really, really fast. Oh, I'll tell you about the adrenaline with that. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Do that. Go bungee jumping. Yeah. And nobody gets to full of <laughs> Chlamydia. Yeah, quit spreading your STDs everywhere. Yes, it's disgusting. And making your wife feel like shit at home. Yes, 
Yeah, yeah. It's it's terrible. Or your husband. The, or your husband. It's whoever yeah. is, you know, the dependent. So if the act of duty is the one who is stepping out, mm-hmm. get your shit together and stop doing that. If the dependent is doing it, get your shit together and stop doing that too. Yeah. Communicate. Communicate. I definitely think, in, in some relationships, I would like to think that in most relationships that are have a good relationship, you're able to talk it through it and, you know, approach it. And I've, I've said this many times, I think that, like, Kyle and I have talked, and like, if, if you're going to cheat on me, he hasn't, not that I know of, I don't think so. Yeah, he's a know. horrible liar, so <laughs> <laughs> he, like, can't look me in the eye when he's lying to me. I'm like, I know you're lying. And I have way too much to, to lose to, you know, to, yeah. to take anything on like that. I would, I would hate myself for it. But we've always said, it's like, if you're going to cheat on me, like, tell me. Tell me about it, and I'll, like, leave you if that's what you want. If you want out of marriage, like, I'll, I'll let you go. Like, I don't want any bad blood between us. Or, like, let's talk it through. You never know. I might give you might give you the chance to go and diddle somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> but probably not. But probably not, but probably not. we'll talk it through. Yeah, I'll talk it through. We'll that's the biggest thing it. is, yeah, it's yeah. communication. I think that's what the biggest it's like the hugest problem for people. So like when I was looking up, like why would a military spouse go and cheat? Like why, why do they do that? What's the most common thing? It's they're lonely. They're lonely because like you said, they work long hours. Sometimes they're on 12 hour shifts yeah. or they're gone. Four hours like me. Yeah. <laughs> or sometimes they're gone, you know, four, five, six to over a year. Yeah. And that is hard. And it can be hard. It's hard on anyone. But yeah. if you're not emotionally and you're just not prepared for that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. it can t- really take a toll on yourself. And you're just wanting to be comfort in yes. the wrong way. In the wrong way. Take up knitting. Yeah. Knit your little blanket. Cross stitch. Cozy in bed. No, it's true. I mean, and even when the when the when the spouse is there and it might be just mm-hmm. the lack of attention yeah. and passion. Yeah. You know, and that's probably what they're looking for. Yeah. Is the passion outside of the marriage where they're not getting it from. Yeah. But you need so. to communicate that. That's the problem is you need to talk to them. This is the way that I'm feeling and I don't know why and I just mm-hmm. or I feel like you are not giving me the attention I need yeah. and I am Sorry that I'm needy, but I want your love. I want your love. I want your passion. Yeah, and if they're not willing to do that for you, then you're not going to be happy. Cheat. Just get out. Get out, because you're not going to be happy. No, you're not going to be happy hiding, mm-hmm. um, hiding that relationship that you're not meant to be in, and just going behind, you know, people's backs and hiding this because you have to lie to everybody. About yeah. It. And one lie leads to another lie to cover up that lie and yeah. so on and so on. Yeah. It's it's never ending. It's never ending. And it's if you think you're having a good relationship with the other person, it's coming out of a bad place. Yes. It's I don't know. Bad. I don't know how people can do that and hide all that behind them. I don't know. I definitely had somebody who was super, super really good at lying. But it just like when I you know, when I unraveled all of their lies, it was just like, how do you even, like, how do you live like this? Yeah. You can't feel good about yourself. No. I mean, but it's, you have to, you got to communicate it to them. And if they're not willing to meet you, even like halfway or do anything, it's, it's time to, it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go before anything bad happens. Yeah. Find a new avenue that will lead you to happiness in yeah. the right way. Yes. Doing it correctly, doing it right before anybody else gets hurt. Think about your family, yeah. think about your children if you have children. Or even think about, you know, the, the spouse, your spouse. Because mm-hmm. it's like if they're not willing to give you the passion you're looking for, maybe look deeper and see what's going on in their mind. Yeah. See if you guys can get to the root of the problem. Yeah. I mean, I think we all get into a, like a, a just a standstill in our relationship where we're like, okay, we, we're in a rut. We're in a rut. What can we do? Go on a little vacation? Mm-hmm. Um, anything, like even in the bedroom, like try something new. No, no butt stuffing. You don't have to do butt stuffing. You don't have to do that. I mean, if you like it though, that's totally fine. Right. Yeah. And we're, uh, we're supporters of you. That's awesome. Good for you. I don't like butt uh, I don't either. <laughs> Not into that. 
But if you're into that, that's fine. We're not hating, I promise. We're what? Just not into it. What? 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 <laughs> what? what in the bed? But you never no. know. I mean, something something like that. Just yeah. something to spark a little bit of passion in there and might revamp you and you might be better off in your marriage. You mm-hmm. never know. You never know. Yeah. Don't just let it die. Exactly. Maybe. That's exactly yeah. it. Deep. Yeah. Deep in there. There was passion at one time, obviously. Yes, you guys yeah. were together. You guys were doing something. So, yeah. Just see if you can dive back in and find that passion. Yes. Again. Yes. Get it going. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, sometimes it sizzles down and that's okay, but sometimes you just I, pick it back up. Sometimes my passion clenches itself into a fist <laughs> and, pr- and, like, just projects itself towards his face. Mm hmm. It just shoots itself right. Into his nose. That's my passion. Only in my mind, I don't actually feel it. No. Fitzy, passion. I'm passionate about really trying to hurt Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> but I love him, I do. He's my favorite person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jen also tries to uh, kill Dave every day. <laughs> Only. With her. That dagger's coming straight out of her eyeballs. Oh, yeah. So right into his mind. heart. Only in my mind sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every now and then, I just want to put him in a chokehold, which he taught me how to do. <laughs> See? He's setting you up. He for is! Success. <laughs> for success. <laughs> oh, that is bad. Huh. They're so funny. What about those relationships that you have where, like, one is super afraid of the other one cheating, even though they're not? And that could create a rip, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that could be really bad. I mean... You have to, I mean, trust is like one of the top things mm-hmm. that you need to have in a relationship. If you don't have trust, then you got nothing. Like, no. you're going to sit there and worry yourself to death and worry yeah. yourself into problems all the time if you're thinking that they're stepping out all the time. Yes. It's not good. That's scary. You start building up scenarios in your mind that aren't yeah. actually happening, and then you're mad at your spouse for no reason. And yes. You wake up in the middle of the night. And, and you want to... Put the pillow over their face. Exactly. Yeah, because of what they did in your dream. Yeah, and it's trust and, again, communication. Mm-hmm. I feel like some people won't share. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but, like, I don't have any issues telling Kyle. be like, oh, so-and-so is very good-looking. But, of course, I'm not going to go jump their bones. Right. It's like, okay, I, I can recognize when someone's good-looking. Yeah. And, like, know that I find a person attractive but never act on it, you know what I mean? But it's not like, yeah, yeah, it's, attraction is so much different than, you know, mm-hmm. being in love and with the person you want to be with anyway, too. So Yeah, exactly. And that's it, and they, you know, you have trust in him and he has trust in you knowing that, like, oh, you can find him, you know, cute, but and I'm that's sharing, it. And I'm sharing that with him. Yeah. Like, yeah, attractive. Yeah. Or that's, he's attractive. Whatever. That's the biggest thing. Like, you, again, communication. So if you are feeling a certain way, you know, something, you know, they are on like a long trip or, you know, somebody at in their uh, squadron or something, yeah. and you're kind of like, they seem to be a little too friendly, mm-hmm. you know, or, you know, this person is really friendly with you and I don't, I, I don't really like it and I don't mean to sound, you know crazy but this is just how I'm feeling Mm -hmm. don't feel bad like be up front with it absolutely be up front if there's something definitely that's making you uncomfortable yeah I definitely voice your opinion speak about it because yeah there's one there's there's a difference between just having you know a little just recognizing someone's attractive and then having someone who is working with you and you're doing stuff with them that you usually do with your spouse. Right. It's a little weird to me. Yes. It's a little weird. I find that strange too. Like it just, and you know, they mean it could just mean nothing. There's nothing to it. It was just, maybe it doesn't mean anything to one person, but what about the other person? What does that mean something to the other person? Yeah. You don't know that. The other person doesn't care that that one person is married. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That Ah. is a, that is an issue. Yeah. You know, don't feel bad if you feel kind of uncomfortable with some situation, you know, your spouse has told you that they did, you know, like, oh, I was, you know, out and it was a female co-worker and yeah. she needed help or something or her car broke down and I went and helped her. You know? yeah. And it's just like, 
it's totally fine to feel uncomfortable in that position. Really you just problem. communicate with them and just let them know. Like, I'm not, you know, be like, I'm not trying to start a problem. I just want to let you know that this just kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. And I appreciate you being a really good person, but could you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Call them fucking triple A. Tell them to find somebody else. <laughs> find somebody else. <laughs> Your car broke down? Sucks That's to you. Man, I can't help you that, but no. So... Don't feel bad about doing that. That's the biggest thing about communication. And if they are good, trusting, and understanding people, they will understand your concerns on that, too. And they won't get mad about it. They'll understand. They'll just understand um, where you're coming from. Yeah. And if they get mad at you, then you might want to dig a little deeper. Dig a little deeper, yeah. There might be something behind that. Yeah. Someone who's always being accused of cheating. They're the ones that are cheating. Yeah, that's always like that. That's another stupid one, mm-hmm. too. It's like, but it ends up always being true. The people who are, who get overly angry mm-hmm. and out, you know, like are just crazy and accusing their significant other of cheating is usually yeah. the one who is actually cheating. Yeah. So just, guilty. and also if you have, if you are coming out of a relationship, or not coming out, but like if you, if you are in a relationship where, there was some infidelity and you guys chose to work it out. Good for you. Yeah. I really hope it works out for you. I have no judgment if you decide to stay. Personally, I don't judge people who decide to stay in a relationship after they dealt with infidelity because you're honestly working through it and trying to, you know, trying to get through it and talk it out on both sides. So yeah, um, yeah, that's really good. I have, um, I have a few friends that have been cheated on. And uh, they've stuck through it, and everything seems to be going great now, and have families, and yeah. And I have other ones that have been cheated on, and multiple times, and then they decide to leave marriage, and mm-hmm. that's fine too. Yeah, it's whatever works in your situation. Yeah. Don't. I mean, friends and family are going to give you advice and everything too, which is great because it'll be helpful to hear, you know, people who are understanding and, you know, they feel bad for you and they don't like your situation, but don't, you don't have to take their advice on it. You need to figure out what you need to do for your situation too. And if you feel like you just want to talk it out and see if you can start going to counseling and whatnot and see if what's going on get to the root of it yeah that would be i mean if he's willing to and you're willing to or you know whatever it's uh, i feel like that's a it's a good solution if it was kind of like a i don't you know he's you know he or she is guilty and they come out with it yeah kind of stuff i think in some situations it definitely can be forgiven yeah just depending on what has happened but and then there are situations where it's like that uh, reoccurring and then it's like okay you're not yeah. you're not going to stop so this, Don't fool this me has anymore. to stop yeah. yeah yeah if it's if it was like a one-time slip up so people can look right past it yeah and the the reoccurring ones i think it's not so much the cheating itself but it's the lying yeah it's the lying and and that's the thing it's like i know i wouldn't want to be made a fool like i don't want to look like a fool but like oh my gosh she doesn't she doesn't know about her you know her spouse mm-hmm cheating on her or whatever I feel like that hurts more than the cheating itself yeah oh yeah when, especially when and especially when other people know about yeah, it yeah especially when other people know about it yeah it's like great now everybody knew about it except the one person who is there for you that loves you unconditionally yeah god damn it just don't cheat okay god this is what we're trying to do we're trying to give you advice on how to not get to that place don't. in your life don't Keep do it. it in your pants unless it's for your spouse. Yeah. Or if you have something arranged with your spouse, oh, yeah. as I mean, long we as you're not getting anybody else in trouble. Right. We talked about the swingers before. You know, if that's yeah. what you're into, I mean, that's uh, in the law. It counts as adultery. But if it's in your life and you came to agreement on that, whatever. Do what you want. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. We're talking about the nitty-gritty bad stuff that nitty-gritty. you should just... Please don't do that. Don't... Yeah. Uh, don't get lonely on your long trips or deployments and feel like you need to relieve yourself with another person. That's not your No, spouse. that's not the, it's not not the answer. It's not the answer. There has to be a, there has to be another outlet. I mean, yes. there's plenty of marriages out there that prove it. Yeah. And you don't need 
I mean, if your spouse is the horny where they're at, get them, get them a device. Something. <laughs> get them a device. Find Watch something. porn. Yes. <laughs> Find porn is something good. <laughs> Find something to help yourself. Yeah, help yourself. What are those called? Like a flesh thing? Okay, oh, those God. Things? Yeah, gross. God. Sorry. They I look know. like those toys that you used to get. Oh my god. <laughs> that are like water filled. Yeah. And it looks like you're jacking them off. Yes. <laughs> it's like they well, turn whoever made that a- toy is probably like laughing their ass off because Just- they probably made a shit ton of money off of it. Remember they would like slip right out of your hand because it's like, yes. they, like turn inside out. That looks like a pocket pussy. It does. Yeah. And they and also the shake weight. <laughs> oh my god, the shake weight. <laughs> My sister had one. She had one, and it's actually really cool. Like, it, like just the I mean, balance I know, of it. I, yeah. But you just look. You look terrible. Stupid <laughs> doing it. Yeah. It's like, look at me. I'm shaking the shit out of this weight. <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't have been more perfect. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! But really, this seriously. So go find more and get your. <laughs> Get yourself, tell, if it's, if you're the active duty spouse and you're a man and you're overseas, tell your wife to send you, find a, whatever, a passion party consultant, whatever they are, mm-hmm. to send you something, because they have a lot of stuff, and Get you'll be fine. Get yourself that nipple cream <laughs> <laughs> that makes your nipples tingle. <laughs> Put it anywhere you like. It all tingles the same. And it was edible. I mean... <laughs> Edible pretty good. nipple cream. Mm-hmm. Strawberry flavored. It has like menthol in it or something, if that's a thing. Menthol. Yeah. Menthol? Right? I think so. And like, it would make, it would make your nipples tingle. It would make wherever you put it tingle. Anywhere you put it. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun. See, those are fun things. <laughs> um, so they also came out with this new, uh, well, probably not new anymore. This was like, Three years ago, when I the last time I went to one of those parties, mm-hmm. they came out with one of those bullets for women. You know the bullet. Yeah, yeah. We're, We're not talking ones. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, not even a finger one. It's like a tiny, tiny vibrator. Yeah, yeah. Like the size of a lipstick. Yeah, they used to stick up inside you. Let's get into detail here. It is powered by. It has a remote, and it's also powered by your smartphone. Oh so shit! So your husband could from work. like. <gasps> sorry, your significant other. I don't mean to just keep talking about. I know, sorry, we apologize for that. I don't mean it like that. It's it, everyone. We support everybody we here. We do. We do. I'm sorry, everyone. So your significant other anymore can um, program it. So if he's like, the, or he or she is deployed, and then they're like, that's what it. they were. That's what she was telling oh, me. That's hot. You could turn it on whenever. Yeah. I'm gonna make a note. You're going to have to look it up, because I'm pretty sure you can use it. They can use it By like that. Raider on smartphone. Yeah. So, my husband's not going to be told anymore, but this but should be still, fun. I mean, he's gone for 24 hours. Exactly. <laughs> he could be, he, you know, woken up from uh, having to go on a call. He comes back, and he's just like, oh, I'm going to wake up my wife. No, it's for him. I'm going to put it in his butt. <laughs> Ew. We don't do butt stuff. Come on now. Uh, he won't no. know. <laughs> oh, yeah, he won't know. He'll have no idea there's something in there. Why is my butt vibrating right now? <laughs> but, yeah, that's what joking. she told me, that you can, it's super fun for when couples are apart, so. Yeah, so, come on, people, there are things that you can do. Yeah. There's plenty of stuff. Yes. Just to keep, to keep it alive. Yeah. Plenty of so Adam, Adam and Eve, you can buy them all shipped to your house, and it's discreet packaging, so no one knows what you're doing. So I didn't know what Adam and Eve was until we moved to Montana, because they had a few mm-hmm. places. And we walked in there a few times, and there were some contraptions in there that I was like, right. where does this go? Like, Ann Summers has a little display uh, of stuff there, too. That's the local one here in the UK? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking weird. It was like some of the things. It was like hooks with handles that look like they should be on horses. Yeah, I'm like I'm. I guess I'm just I'm so out of it. I don't know what people are doing now. Yeah. We walked into a friend's house one time. This was like years ago when Kyle and I had first moved to our, um, his first duty station in Guam, and I walked into his friend's house. Who was single. He had a sex wing in his living room. 
Oh, and that's like, where it belongs. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, put it in your in your bedroom or like behind a closed door, please. Behind a closed door, where people don't. He was like so proud of it. He just like head up and I was like, ew, gross. Not that I'm like knocking it. It's just like, no, why is it out for everyone? When to you're see? out at a friend's house, that's not really something I want to walk into and be like, yeah. your naked butt was on that. Ew. I don't want to be near it. Yeah. I don't know how it will, it'll work. They will do a lot of straps. There's there's a ton of straps. Yeah, a lot of straps. How do you get two people on that? Yeah. I don't know. And why do you have to swing? Is it just the one person receiving <laughs> that gets the swing? Is it the woman who's strapped? Oh, that would really hurt. Yeah, I don't oh, like it. And you're swinging in. Ow. Just to swing in. <laughs> Lots of straps and chokers and... Um, what has this podcast become? Balls in the mouth. <laughs> balls in the mouth podcast. <laughs> All sorts of balls. Remember when that when Fifty Shades of Grey came out and I was going crazy about reading that book? Mm-hmm. I read it and I was like, okay, the first one was kind of steamy, horrible writing. Like it was boring. just boring. It was just I was like, this poor girl, so stupid. Like yes. How stupid are you? Like She knows because she kept telling herself, shit, shit, shit. And I was like, oh my God, if I have to read this one more time, I'm going to lose it. Yeah. Also, don't tell me to break my hair. I will wear it however I want. Right. Yeah. Also, I won't take birth control. She says you have a red room of pain. She's going to have to tell you, you, you to tell me what to do. No. In fact, bend over. You're a millionaire and all these shit. Like, no. No. So, yeah, exactly. It's because he's a millionaire, a billionaire, a millionaire. He yeah. had money. If it would have been some poor bum lived in a trailer park. That one, that shit wouldn't have flown? No, no way. That would have just been gross. Yes, it would have been disgusting. I'm going to write a book in that version. It's going to be Trailer Park Billy and his um, broom of disease. <laughs> he oh. uses a broom to punish her. With the bristles, like, he, oh. like, snaps her. And makes her wear her hair in pigtails. Braided. Handlebars. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, oh that's horrible. This is what happened when we are. <laughs> we talk about how to bring that passion into you. Yes. Jen and I are food deprived and alcohol deprived right now, so our our minds aren't right. No, I This whole Lord. detox thing is bullshit. <laughs> it is for the birds. I don't know, you know what's going on anymore. I'm way funner when I have sugar, carbs, and alcohol in me. I am really fun when I have alcohol in me. I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way more exciting than this. Yes. Um, but yeah. But yeah. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. They don't do that. It's stupid. So, yeah, we just wanted to cover a few things that we've heard. I wish we had a little bit more stories. Oh, if you have stories, send them to us. Yeah. So, uh, chitten, chittens. 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 <laughs> chitten couple. Not just chitten couple. Oh, uh, like I used to watch, like, what was that? Oh, uh, Cheaters <gasps> on and Camera yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that. Cheaters. Mm-hmm. Cheaters, that's what it was called. Yeah. And Fucking love that show. They would be caught in some, um, some compromising places. I was like, I don't yeah. know where there was like goats involved. I was like, what are you doing with those goats? Oh no. There was goats in the room. Gross. And they were all, you know, like SM dressed like S and I was like, what are you doing with the goats? Not good things, I can tell you that probably. Not are you good stuff. Them watch? They're probably doing more than that. Are you milking these poor goats? In more milk? than one way. Sex cheese. <laughs> Sexy goat cheese. Sexy <laughs> goat cheese. <laughs> Ew. This Ugh. is why I don't support goat products. But yeah, sex yeah. cheese, people. <laughs> uh, uh, sex cheese. <laughs> uh, anyways. Yeah, that show Cheaters was crazy. Mm-hmm. One time I watched the, the, like, the Mord Povid show or something. Oh, yes. That was another hot mess on TV. Oh, and there, really was, there was one couple who like came on. I know that she's cheating on me because she's pregnant and that's not my child. I'm like, how are you sure? And he goes, because I'm actually a female. And I was like, how do you not know? How do you not know that your partner is of the other, of the opposite sex? And as she, as she goes, I never let her touch me. And we always had sex in the dark. 
And I was like, I, you, no, there's no way. There's no way. What, would she just use, um, she used a strap on? Or? Yeah, she was using a strap on. I feel like you could tell the difference between, I don't know how, what this, how you wear a strap on, but I feel like there's like contraptions and bands going and, across yeah. your back. Like, uh, belts um, and stuff? Yeah, yeah, like a belt. Or, like, like underwear, it's like, yeah, come on. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously it was probably just for the show, but I was, like, trying to decipher this in my, you know, 17-year-old no. mind. Like, how did this happen? You knew. Yeah, so, and she was pregnant, and then she was like, no, it's yours. And she's like, no. And then she finally confessed, because I'm actually a female. And then she was like, oh, oh. Well, and then she didn't know what to say. I don't remember that school. I don't yeah. remember that specific. I was like, how do you not know? You you know. There's no, I just, I don't feel like that's, there's any way. No. That you could not know. No. In the dark. Yeah. And and you're feeling around and you're moving around. around. Yeah. People are getting flipped around and. Yeah. moved and you're touching and yeah. your hands are all over the place how do you not feel the contraption exactly you're gonna touch it it's gonna not it feel like a normal feel dick. like flesh no even if you had like a condom rolled on it i really don't think it would and then when you like you know orgasm what happens to the plastic dick yeah that doesn't deflate. how do you pretend how do you pretend for that whole thing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, this has gone. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> We're just talking about bad Sorry. days. We don't want to upset anybody. Sorry about this. No, um, no. If you want to use strap on, use strap on. But yeah. just don't oh, yeah. tell the other person that it's yours. Yeah, just don't lie to the other person that yeah. you're not really who you are. Yeah, that's all. Just be honest. Be truthful, people. That's the whole point of this entire mm-hmm. episode is be honest be up in front and honest and communicate oh. yeah sorry for a tangent i know i'm not aware of that one i don't know this is a good topic though oh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot to say that's for sure just we had a lot to say on just a quickie <laughs> just a quickie <laughs> oh yeah. anything going on in your life that i don't know about your daughter just had a birthday. She did. She's yeah. nine. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I had somebody nine years ago. Mm-hmm. How? Do the math, people. Don't do the math, though. Jen was young as a baby. She was a baby having babies. As a baby having babies. Yeah. But we want to hear your stories if you have any good juicy stories. Yeah, we want to hear your stories. We'd love to hear them mm-hmm. and share them. On our podcast, mm-hmm. email us at dependuslaney at gmail.com. Or reach us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever your preferred method is. Yes. We're on all those, and you can find us and still get at us that way. Mm-hmm. We will read and respond to your messages. And rate us. Rate us. Give us five-star rating. It helps us. It really does. Yeah. So much. We do this podcast for fun right now. <laughs> It's all for fun. <laughs> it's all for fun. <laughs> it's all for fun, and we try to do the best that we can. Come up, we come up with topics every week, and do our research sometimes. <laughs> and this is why we're not it. explaining you, because we don't know what we're doing. Mm-mm. Yeah, none of the stuff we talk about, we're not licensed doctors, nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we give you unexperted advice, okay? Yes. That's it's, just our, it's just our unwanted opinions. Yes. <laughs> that you want to hear. That's what we do. You don't really want to, but you do. You do, because it's entertaining. We like to entertain you with our tangents and sidebars. That's right. Yeah. Anything else in your in your life going on? No. Like I said, my children were driving me crazy today, but it's been fine. I donated yeah. a bunch of stuff, so I'm like trying to clear out my house of just unwanted junk. Good for you. I mean, it's been a lot of years of just gathering shit, right. unwanted stuff, and then like toys that the kids have thrown out of the clothes and stuff. So I went and donated. I'm not joking you. I filled Kyle's truck, like the bed of the truck. I filled it to the brim to where I could barely close the top of it, and I took it to the donation center, and they're like, oh, are you moving? And I was like, yes. <laughs> He's like, well, like a year and a half. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, no, I'm just trying to clear everything out. I can't stand looking at it. Mm-hmm. You're doing a great job. You're giving back to the world. This shit doesn't bring you joy anymore. Yeah. None You're of, Marie Kondoing it. None of my stuff brings me joy. <laughs> Except no. my bed. Mm-hmm. Except my bed. My 
my couch so I can sit and read my TV if I need to, you know, digress. <laughs> the day. Yeah. Digress. De-stress. De-stress. Digress is what, what we do all the time on this podcast is we start talking about something just yeah. like now and then we start talking about something else. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, de-stressing. Yeah. My bed. Mm-hmm. And clothes. Yeah. I'm good. I'm in clothes. I do. I don't <laughs> want to be naked. I don't care. I'll oh, just put me in a pair of sweats and oh, sports bra. I'm good. That would be the best. I would live in that outfit if it was perfectly acceptable. I would. Yeah. I would. I don't care. Yeah. Or gym clothes. Gym I don't clothes. care. It's not allowed at the commissary. <laughs> Apparently, but I guess what? I still do it anyway. I still do it all the time. I'm in there every Thursday getting a salad. I'm a rule breaker. Yeah. I'm in there every Thursday getting a salad and they know me. Yeah. They're like, hey, there you are today. Anyways. But yeah, I'm. That's it. That's all for me. Just decluttering and everything's good. Yeah. I'm ready to get on an airplane this Sunday. Go. We're yeah. going to go on Sunday. Okay. Okay. Gracia. Here we come. Here we come. Food. Food and wine and food and wine and beach and sun and sun. Yeah. We're and starving ourselves. We're so dumb. We're starving ourselves to try to look better in a bathing suit on the I beach know. or picnic only to stuff our faces while we're there. Yes. Of yeah. all the things we're depriving ourselves of. Yeah. It's so silly. I'm not going to deprive myself there. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. I will eat everything that comes to me. Everything. 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 I don't can't get, wait. Don't get in my face. I'll eat you. Yeah, watch out. That's why I tell my daughter. I'm like, I'm going to eat your face. She's like, don't eat my face. You can't tell me I'm going to eat yeah, it. Yeah, your face is all good. I know. A little chunk of cheeks. I'm going to eat them. I watch out because I'm hungry. All right. Well, there you go. I We gave you advice. <laughs> Don't cheat. Be truthful. Be honest. Be good. Get a vibrator. Yes. Smartphone operated vibrator. Yes. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah. If you want a strap on, that's fine. You can just do it. That's fine. Make sure it vibrates. Yeah. I'm vibrating. Everybody's vibrating. (laughs) (laughs) You know, do what you need to do. Just don't cheat on each other. It's just not worth it. No. Seek some, some help, some advice. Go to counseling. Um, there are resources out there, most definitely. Yeah. And just look for what works for you. Mm-hmm. Be healthy. Don't hurt anybody. Don't hurt yourself. Stay strong. You'll come out on the other side of the person. Yes. It's beautiful. Thank you. I love it. I try to have a beautiful soul to match my beautiful face. <laughs> Is how modest I am? It's so working. It's not beautiful. No, I'll tell you that. Shh. Stop it. Anyways. Lindsay's not here to send us off, so Jen, you send us off today. How about that? I'm not very good at that. Just do it. Words. Words are hard. Words are very hard. Words so. are meant to be said. <laughs> yeah. They're also meant to be thought of, and I never can think of words. Obviously, I said digress, and I didn't mean that. We digress. We digress. So, just know on your journeys around that you're not cheating on people with, because... Wherever you go, there you are. Goodbye!